So we are now heading to Kamigin Island. So ito po yung vapor no na aming sasakyan papuntang Kamigin Island and we are very lucky this very morning kasi nakasakay kami sa pinakaunang trip going to Kamigin So sila po yung aking mga kasamahan and of course I am so happy to be there since ito yung first time ko na pumunta ng Kamigin nakapagliwaliw na po ako sa iba't ibang bahagi ng mundo however here this is my first time Santo Nino Cold Spring is a natural cold spring that flows down from Mount Mambahao and is filtered by layers of minerals from the mountain, therefore, it is naturally clean. It is located in Sagay Town and approximately 2.4 kilometers off the National Highway in Katarman, Kamigin Island. This spring is one of the more underrated Kamigin tourist spots. It is located in Katarman which is a 30-minute drive from Mambahao and the entrance fee is 50 pesos. Santo Nino Cold Spring features a large man-made swimming pool that is fed from natural spring water that runs down the valley from the nearby mountains. 
There are plenty of sheltered huts and seating areas around the edges of the pool where you can sit down your belongings and jump in head first to fall off. The water in the springs is a vibrant turquoise color and irresistibly inviting. Santo Nino Cold Spring is sit beneath Mount Hibok-Hibok which is surrounded by a dense coconut palm forest and beautiful gardens creating the ultimate jungle vibes. It's a great spot to hang out for an hour or so during your Kamigin trip. This spring is also a cool getaway to escape the summer heat. It's an oasis to Kamigin visitors who have endured a long and hot day tour. It's definitely not being subtle about how cool it is based on the resort's name itself. So what are you waiting for? Come and visit Santo Nino Cold Spring. The Wasan Waterfalls isn't the tallest fall on the island of Kamigen in the Philippines, but even so, I was impressed by its powerful water flow. The Wasan Falls in Kamigen is one of the three waterfalls on the island. We had listed the waterfalls for our trip to Wasan and Katiba Wasan Falls and left the second waterfall for another time. Surprisingly, we came across the Wasan by chance while we were cruising along the highlands of Kamigin. The Wasan Falls is located in the middle of the mountains and just a few steps away from the parking area. Basically, the fall can be easily accessed by anyone. So what are you waiting for? Come and witness the beauty of the Wasan Falls. The pool is one of the more interesting Kamigen tourist spots that you can't miss on your Kamigen itinerary. The pool can be found in Katarman which is a 25 minute drive from Mambahao and the entrance fee is 50 pesos. It's actually attached to a resort but also open to the public. A large swimming pool welcomes you as you arrive at the Bura Suda water spring though it is not bubbling as you may have expected. However, the crystalline water is incredibly clean and fresh as the flow of the water from the mountains is constant. Do note, you cannot drink from the pool itself but off to the side, you can find an open faucet where you can taste the clean and natural soda water flowing from the tops. It is safe to drink and it is completely free. The Old Church Ruins, also known as Giog Church, the historical landmark in Katarman, Kamigen Island. It is located in Barangay Bonbon, Katarman. Giog Church was destroyed and partly submerged during the series of eruptions of Mount Vulcan from 1871 to 1875. The ruins of Giog Church is all that is left of the old town. Although the church has lost its roof, its sturdy walls and columns still stand today. A massive, beautiful, physical reminder of an almost apocalyptic past, a scar. From the road, it looked like a simple ancient wall, like a fortress. Surrounded by the towering trees and covered by moss, the walls continued to give a vivid picture of how the old church looked like and how big it was. As you step into its premises, however, you were greeted by a newer small chapel where residents go to for prayer and mass. The chapel was bare, devoid of color, and did not have much inside. The narrow space between it and the right wall serves as a pathway to an opening that leads to a more surviving structure of the church complex. Beside the convent stood an enormous towering tree, 
the century-old trees survived the tremors of the eruption. The tree stands victoriously on a cliff which offers a stunning view of the sea. There were also flowers everywhere. The well-maintained green grass carpeting most of the ground added to the beauty of the place. The Sunken Cemetery, is also known as the Old Volcano, is a popular sightseeing spot with history. During 1800s, Mount Vulcan erupted causing the massive devastation on the island. This particular area was hit especially hard. The eruption caused the cemetery and the old capital city to sink below sea level. Nowadays, the only thing that remains is a huge cross was built to remember those who sunk under the sea. This cross rises out from the water and makes for a very airy and lonely view. The sunken cemetery in Kamigan is one of the most popular attractions on the island and an adventure not to be missed. You can go snorkeling at the Kamigan sunken cemetery and spot old tombstones and crosses as well as an abundance of marine life. Sunken Cemetery is the last stop during our tour in Kamigin. So this commemorates our first day tour and we are very happy to visit one of the Philippine Islands.